This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joy Chan. English fairy tales collected by Joseph Jacobs. Chapter 42. Master of All Masters. A girl once went to the fair to hire herself for servant. At last a funny-looking old gentleman engaged her, and took her home to his house. When she got there, he told her that he had something to teach her, for that in his house he had his own names for things. He said to her, "'What will you call me?' "'Master or Mr. or whatever you please, sir,' says she. He said, "'You must call me Master of all Masters.' "'And what would you call this?' pointing to his bed. "'Bed or couch or whatever you please, sir.' "'No, that's my barnacle.' "'And what do you call these?' said he, pointing to his pantaloons. "'Breeches or trousers or whatever you please, sir.' "'You must call them squibs and crackers.' "'And what would you call her?' pointing to the cat. "'Cat or kit or whatever you please, sir.' "'You must call her white-faced simony.' And this now, showing the fire, what would you call this? Fire or flame or whatever you please, sir. You must call it hot cockalorum. And what's this, he went on, pointing to the water. Water or wet or whatever you please, sir. No, pondalorum is its name. And what do you call all this, asked he, as he pointed to the house. House or cottage or whatever you please, sir. You must call it High Topper Mountain. That very night the servant woke her master up in a fright and said, Master of all masters, get out of your barnacle and put on your squibs and crackers, for white-faced simony has got a spark of hot cockalorum on its tail, and unless you get some hondalorum, High Topper Mountain will be all on hot cockalorum. That's all. End of chapter 42 Master of all masters